Yo. Okay, that actually sounds really, really wrong coming out of my mouth, so we're just gonna start that over. Hey guys, so today I am gonna show you my high school makeup tutorial, and this is just some looks or a look, whatever, that I would suggest for you guys to wear in high school. This is not really stuff that I'd be like, oh my god, you know, you have to wear in high school. If you're in high school, you have to wear this. Like, for all I know, you could be wearing, like, my middle school makeup tutorial. This is just stuff um, that I think would be good for high schoolers, and all these things are drugstore products because all of you guys requested for me to do all the back to school tutorials with drugstore products so it's easier for you guys to access. So I know in high school I started experimenting with more eyeshadows and more lip colors, darker lips, all that stuff, so I tried to show you guys how you could experiment with that in this tutorial. Uh, I will be showing what I'm wearing in high school, like my everyday fall makeup routine soon, uh, so that will give you guys insight as to what I'm actually going to be wearing in high school. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Yeah, I'll talk to you in like five seconds. The CoverGirl Nature Luxe Foundation and the Elf Tinted Moisturizer, as well as the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer are perfect drugstore alternatives for your drug or like face options I guess but I'm not going to show how to apply that. That is the naked eye that I'll be working on. First I'm taking the Revlon Cream Shadows and Precious Metals and I'm taking that golden bronzy color there and I'm just going to place that all over the lid. I think cream shadows are great for back to school high schoolers because usually I'm in the rush in the morning so I like to use cream shadows because it's easy just to swipe on as a base for my eyeshadow and it can also work as a primer. So you know saving some money on a primer. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Elf Cream Eyeshadow in Bronze and I'm just going to place that over the eyeshadow, the Revlon cream shadow, just to kind of make it more skin tone based. So if you are a lighter skin tone, I guess you would use a lighter skin tone to put over that Revlon cream shadow. Then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild eyeshadows and Walking on Eggshells. And this is actually one of my favorite drugstore palettes. So I think you should definitely get it. It's only $2.99. I'm just going to take the crease color and the lid color and I'm going to place that on the inner corner just to kind of highlight my inner corner and leave the bronzy shade on the outer corner so it can look a lot more natural. Then I'm going to try and blend those in together. After, I'm going to take the Maybelline Pulse Perfection Mascara, which is amazing. I'm going to apply that to my lashes. It's such a great mascara for volumizing, a little bit of lengthening, but it's just great for everyday wear and it's quick on the go. That's usually what these high school tutorials are. It's just quick on the go, you know, stuff like that. Then I'm going to take the Elf Shinner Eyeliner Pencil in Boldly Bronze. I'm going to place that in the inner corner. It goes great with my kind of bronzy eyeshadow. It's just awesome for everyday wear and it's really, really cheap. I think it's only a dollar on the Alpha website. And so that is it for the eyes. Wasn't that quick and easy? You know, in the morning, I need time to do my hair, brush my teeth, not all on makeup. This is the Revlon Berry Flirtatious Cream Blush that's amazing from the drugstore and it gives me this nice pink flush on my cheeks. I know pink blushes don't really look awesome on brown skin tones, which is why I take this orangey coralish brush on top in Sunset Beach by Milani, just to kind of give me a little bit color on my cheeks. And then after that, I'm just going to take this Maybelline Sensational Lip Gloss in Mocha and place that on top of my lip color and on my lip color and, you know, my lips. They kind of give me just like this matchy kind of, naturally kind of corally pretty lip color that I love for everyday wear. And you are finished. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a lot of fun for me to make. If you notice, the sun was kind of going down, and it's because, you know, the after effects of Hurricane Irene outside my freaking window. Yeah, thanks for all the wishes of support and prayers for Hurricane Irene. I am fine, guys, I am fine. Um, fortunately, the New York City area, which I currently stay in, wasn't hit that much, so it was pretty good for me, a good experience for me, but I hope all of you guys are safe and all that stuff. Today's shout of the day goes to Beauty Taken In, and her videos are amazing. I would pretty much say it just makes my videos look like crap if you look at her videos, and she deserves so many more subscribers. Her tutorials, her product reviews, she just has a good mix of everything on her channel, and it's all so well done. Like, the quality of her videos is amazing. It's just like I can sit there and watch her videos for hours, and it's Oh my god, like you guys need to check her out. So I will link her below. She has video sponsor videos to my videos before, which is how I found her. So you guys should definitely check her out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this whole tutorial thing. If you have any more requests, leave them below. My back to school series is slowly coming to an end. I think I'm gonna do a note-taking tips video, then a question and answer video, and that's pretty much it. You should like me on Facebook, send me pictures of anything you got on there. Um, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my second channel. I have a What's in My Purse video on my second channel right now, actually, so click the link anywhere on the screen to go to that video. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!